Um, so I wanted to start and talk about when I was little. Um, when I was little, I always had this urge uh, to see the world and travel the world. And I always felt a little bit different from everybody. Um, I grew up in Canada, and I had these parents that spoke a language that none of my friends did. And I had friends um, of different every different color and shape and size. So I had this vague idea that the world was much bigger than our uh, little neighborhood in Canada. And uh, luckily, my parents took us traveling. And they, I remember one of the first trips that they took us to was to Hong Kong. And uh, our hotel faced a park. And I woke up one morning and I saw a group of people doing Tai Chi in perfect formation. And this really amazed me. I thought, oh my gosh, this is just like the Kung Fu movies. And um, we went on road trips as well. And I remember one of the first trips we went to was Disneyland. And uh, as kids, you know, we watch a lot of TV, we watch a lot of movies. So uh, when I went to Disneyland, it was also amazing. And it really lit up my imagination. Um, and so every time I went somewhere new, I would be very inspired and amazed, and I'd go home and I'd draw a picture, or I'd write a story, or I'd make something. And um, yeah, and, and this, this has always been a driving force for me. And I later uh, learned what the, the word for this, uh, wanderlust, which is the irresistible desire to, to travel the world. Um, yeah. So, I wanted to show you some of the slides of where I've been. Uh, this is um, one of the first uh, trips that I'd been to, uh, uh, scuba diving. So when I was little, I, I loved watching The Little Mermaid, and I always wondered what it would be like to be able to live and breathe under the water. So this drove me to learn how to scuba dive and it subsequently has become uh, one of my sources of inspiration. Um, you know, in all of us, uh, there's something that touches our hearts, something that inspires amazement in us, whether it's uh, music, whether it's books, whether it's uh, sports, running marathons, um, and uh, meeting friends or helping people or doing charity. And, um, Traveling is one of those things for me. This is a photo of a sunset, um, one of the, my favorite times of day and um, a time when I get lots of ideas. And this is recently uh, when we were chosen as one of eight designers to represent Hong Kong uh, in Fashion Gorilla in Paris. And this is one of the cities that has always inspired me and my designs. And uh, uh, it's, it's, I, when, whenever I get to travel, whether it's a walk in the park, whether it's a train ride, or whether it's going somewhere really exotic, um, this is where I get my inspiration, my design ideas, where I, where I can reflect. And this is where I get a lot of my ideas to do many, many things. Uh, this is... If I hadn't become a fashion designer or a handbag designer, I'd probably be a professional eater. Um, this is in Camembert, the home of one of my favorite cheeses. Um, and the, uh, this, this summer was a really wonderful summer for me. And I got, it was, this was just before I started my handbags brand. Uh, which leads me to my next slide. Uh, it's a quotation by one of the famous travelers and scholars, Ibn Battuta, and he says that traveling, it leaves you speechless and then turns you into a storyteller. So I wanted to share with you the story of how I went from an aspiring medical student to becoming a teacher, to becoming a handbag designer, and to now being uh, an entrepreneur. Um, so when my parents told me that we were moving to Hong Kong when I was in high school, my sister and I thought, great, it's going to be the land of Kung Fu and lots of homework. And moving to Hong Kong was 
of course, I miss my friends back home and I miss the outdoors, but being in Hong Kong really opened my eyes because I met so many friends from all around the world and um, we got to travel a lot more. And this is a, a, a photo of me in a temple in Japan. I'd always been fascinated by Japanese culture, Japanese food, design, art, and uh, when I finished university in London and moved back to Hong Kong and started working, uh, this is when I did the most traveling because I was searching for what I wanted to do. Um, on this trip to Japan, I started to uh, collect uh, vintage uh, kimono and obi, and this slide was taken um, in the streets of Gion, which is where geisha uh, still work and live today. I started collecting um, lots of uh, kimono and obi material, the, the belt of the kimono, and I had remembered um, what I really loved about fashion, about sewing, about making things and creating things. So. I was getting a little bit restless in my career and I decided I wanted to do something creative. So I started making handbags. And uh, um, the first collection that I ever made, I sewed by myself at home with my sewing machine. And uh, this is a shot that we took with a, a model one time. I, the first collection I launched at a show one Christmas and uh, they sold out in one day. And I was really amazed and I never thought it could come true. I, I have one of the bags here to show you. Uh, this is a, my dumpling bag. It's inspired by, of course, one of my favorite pastimes, eating. Um, <laughs> so, so after that first um, collection selling out, I thought, what's next? Because uh, being a fashion designer or being an entrepreneur, uh, it's, nothing, it's something that I never thought was possible, never thought I could do. Um, but with a lot of encouragement with, from friends and from lots of customers, I started, to, I started my collection. And I went back, I did some courses in, in design, and I just took inspiration from my travels. So you can see this is a mood board that I uh, had done. Um, you can see I'm very inspired by uh, old-fashioned movies and travel, um, poems, and um, so when we launched up the brand in 2008, I thought this is going to be an adventure and I've never done it before, so let's see how it's going to happen. Um, in 2010, uh, I wanted to create are my own print because I always really like traditional prints and designs. And I went back to my the OB that I had started with and I chose the hexagon print. And the hexagon print symbolizes the sea tortoise's shell, which represents longevity. And as a fashion lover, I wanted something that could last for a long time. So I took the hexagon print and um, sort of gave it a twist and I came up with this hexagon print and uh, I made a line of handbags that were travel inspired, something that you could take away with you on your adventures. Um, this, these photos were sent to me by friends and clients and it, was, it really inspired me to see what I had created and that all of these bags had followed them everywhere that they went all around the world, and that um, you know, it went. They went to places that uh, I'd never been and had really wanted to go. Um, so, in closing, I wanted to say that you should find the thing that really inspires you, and find the thing that um, makes you think and amazes you, and. This can take you through your life and on your journey to new experiences and uh, testing yourself and it can bring you to uh, do things that you never thought were possible. So I want to leave you with this last question and it's if your wildest dreams came true, what would you do next? Thank you. <laughs>